Much like the University of Missouri, the city of Columbia is looking for ways to cut down on costs. Thanks for joining us. I'm Joey Parker. And I'm Marissa Holloway. The city has now introduced a 30-day hiring freeze for its employees. Officials say this will help balance the budget. ABC 17's Taylor Petrus joins us live from City Hall. And Taylor, they say this is because of a decrease in sales tax revenue. Yeah, Joey and Marissa, Deputy uh, City Manager Tony St. Remain tells me the city usually generates its highest sales tax revenue somewhere between 8 and 10 percent during the months of December and January. But he says this year there was pretty much no growth, and now the city is looking for ways to make up for it. The University of Missouri isn't the only one facing financial troubles. The city of Columbia is behind on its budget because of an unexpected flat line in sales tax revenue. If revenues are not coming in as expected, uh, the only way to balance the budget uh, for the year is to, is to control expenses. Back in mid-February, the city asked all of the departments to not buy some extra items that were already outlined in their budget for this year. Officials also introduced a 30-day hiring freeze. You know, 1,500 employees and 10% turnover, anything that we can do to introduce one twelfth of, of savings in those new hires um, really contributes to the bottom line. But newly elected Mayor Brian Treese has some concerns about some departments the hiring freeze will impact. It's hard enough to recruit and retain police and firefighters, and just because the economy is declining doesn't mean that crime is declining. Deputy City Manager Tony St. Romain says he doesn't think public safety departments will be affected because their hiring process usually takes more than 30 days. But other departments may have to pick up some extra work. Said we'll be asking, uh, you know, the departments to make sure that the work still continues to get done by uh, by assigning extra work to folks that needed. Now, St. Romain tells me this isn't the first time the city has had to introduce a hiring freeze. He says a few years ago during the recession, it was pretty much the norm every year. Live outside City Hall tonight, Taylor Petrus, ABC 17 News. And the deputy city manager says the hiring freeze could last until the end of the year. Those